The wild cats are back. The wild cats are back, baby. Uh, captive bred Scottish wild cats that give birth in the wild. Scottish wild cats bred in captivity and then released into the Cairngorms National Park have had kittens. And there's some of the wild cats there. You can't really see it, obviously, from this picture, but they're like twice the size of like a regular house cat. And they have that coloration and stuff like that as well. But basically, when you when you see a wild cat, you know. You're like, that's a really, really fucking big cat. That's a huge cat. And I'm on, but like, they're, they're really vicious as well. Don't go near them. But uh, they're extremely rare. Extremely rare. They're proper dying out. I think the last estimate is they think there might be nine left in the wild. But the problem is they keep crossbreeding with regular house cats. That's that's the issue. So they basically were breeding themselves out of existence. And it was, and by the way, you see half wild cat kittens, they fetch a pretty penny. They fetch a pretty penny. However, I think there's an argument over classifying them as a, an endangered animal because they're still technically like half wild cat. But uh, other things as well is uh, I, I go out and I go out in nature all the time, and I have done my entire life. I have seen every single animal uh, that the, this island has to offer. Every every spider, every creature, everything. I've seen it. I've seen every fish and everything as well. The only animals that I haven't seen is a pine marten and wild cats. I have never seen a wild cat and I'm out in nature like a lot and I've even been out in nature like up in the highlands where they are and everything and I've never ever seen one and I think they're extremely rare. Uh, the bursa is bleh. Uh, Scottish wild cats bred in captivity and then released into the Cairngorms National Park have had kittens. The births are a first for the Saving the Wild Cats project led by Royal Zoological Society of Scottland. Uh, last summer, 19 wild, ca wild cats raised at RZSS Highland Wildlife Park near Aviemore were released into the UK's largest national park. The Cairngorms is beautiful, by the way. You should definitely take a drive up there. At least two females have given birth. The captive bred cats are tra tracked by GPS radio collars fitted to them before release and the mothers and kittens have since been filmed which is wonderful by the way up in the cairngorms as well you can get capercaillies which are basically like giant angry pheasants basically cross a honey badger with a pheasant like they they don't they do not give a shit about how big you are they will attack you as soon as they see you they will attack you not the females the little like plain looking ones but see the males the big black ones with the big white beak and like the red shit that you get on chickens and stuff like that they'll fucking fan out and they make this fucking weird clicking noise well how's it it's like a like fucking odd noise at you as they run at you and having the wee pricks i hate them i mean they're pretty to look at but aye, there's the wild cats there you can't see it for the pictures but they're a lot bigger than like regular house cats uh, once the kittens are old enough attempts will be made to get a dna profile from them rzss ho uh, hopes that blah Hopes they are the offspring of male wild cats that were released last year and not feral domestic cats. Judging by the face, I think it might just be a regular cat that's bred with it. Uh, before the wild cats were released, RZSS and its partners organization, partner organizations trapped, neutered, vaccinated and released any feral domestic cats that they could find in the local area. Conservationists feared the species was on the verge of extinction in 2018. Loss of habitat, breeding with feral cats and disease have been among the main threats to the Scottish wild cat. Dr Kerry Langridge, uh, Saving Wild Cats field manager, said, We have taken extreme care not to disturb the mother and kittens and we will carry out all monitoring work under license from nature scott we didn't dare to dream uh, that we would have wild ca wildcat kittens in the first year of releases and seeing those kittens on the video was the most exciting moment of the project so far i mean it's great i do want them back because what i know one of the things is dead annoying as well is uh, we've got like no predators like we we killed all of our wolves we killed all of our boars we even had lynxes at one point a long time ago and we killed all of them farmers killed all of them because they kept uh, killing livestock so our deer have no na na bleh, our deer have no natural predators at all the biggest killer of deer in scotland is motorways cars that's the biggest that, that's what's controlling the population cars and trucks that's what controls the deer population our biggest predator is the fox that's literally our biggest predator is the fox or the badger if you could argue that because badgers are badgers get a lot bigger than you think they do by the way and they are fucking mean i would say badgers are even meaner than wildcats i get chased by a badger 
I was walking on top of its burrow. I didn't know. I didn't know I was just walking on top of its burrow and I heard it snarling. And then the thing came fucking flying out and I ran. I shit my pants. Badgers are fucking mean. <laughs> man. But uh, yeah, I think it's good that they're coming back. I think it's good that they're coming back. It's a little magical thing. Uh, I'm actually going to be going up to the Highlands pretty soon. So I'll keep a wee eye out for them. 